What's up guys? We're in Baltimore, Maryland. Uh, gonna be bringing you some speed test videos. Just found a Verizon ultra wideband node. It's kind of exciting. It's the first time I've actually seen one. So I'm gonna showcase that as well as AT&T and T-Mobile and see how they do in the city of Baltimore. All right, so here we go. All right, guys, we are in Baltimore, downtown, standing right underneath a Verizon node, ultra wideband node, that is. So, gonna see how fast Verizon speeds are in downtown Baltimore. All right, here we have Verizon showcasing an ultra wideband connection. Verizon's ultra wideband coming in with super impressive speeds at 3,806 megabits per second down, 261 up. Very impressive from Verizon. All right, now we have T-Mobile on the left showing 5G, AT&T on the right also showing 5G. Okay, T-Mobile coming in at 349 down, 42.2 up. AT&T coming in at 53.6 down, 11.4 up. All right, here we are at Sinesta Select in Columbia, Maryland. On the left, we have Verizon showing 5G. On the right, T-Mobile also showing 5G. Verizon coming in at 106 down, 10.1 up. T-Mobile, 271 down, 10.9 up. And now for an LTE speed test. Verizon still on the left, T-Mobile on the right. One thing I have noticed is that on the Android device, anytime I switch between 5G and LTE, I need to close the speed test app and reopen it. Not sure if that is a software issue there, that Apple is just more intelligent in terms of switching between the two or what, but every single time this happens.
All right, on LTE, Verizon coming in at 94.4 down, 8.16 up. T-Mobile, 29.5 down, 16.5 up. And looking at the results, 5G versus LTE, there is a clear difference in both carriers. Now we have AT&T showing a 5G connection. AT&T 5G coming in at 91.8 down, 42.7 up. And now for AT&T LTE. AT&T LTE coming in at 95.5 down, 37.8 up. And if you look at the comparison of 5G versus LTE, LTE is actually a little bit faster than 5G on the down and a little bit slower on the up. All right, here we're at first watch in Columbia, Maryland. On the left, we have T-Mobile showing a 5G connection. On the right, Verizon showing LTE, so there's no 5G from Verizon in this location. All right, T-Mobile 5G coming in at 51.1 down, 12.6 up. Verizon LTE 84.4 down, 11.2 up. So Verizon's LTE network outperforming T-Mobile's 5G network. Let's see how T-Mobile's LTE network compares. All right, so T-Mobile LTE coming in at 48.9 down, 8.75 up. And as you can see, when looking at 5G and LTE for T-Mobile, they are very comparable to one another. All right, now AT&T showing a 5G connection.
AT&T 5G coming in at 106 down, 14.4 up. Now let's see how AT&T LTE compares to their 5G. AT&T LTE coming in at 96.2 down, 9.15 up. And as you can see, that is very comparable to their 5G speeds as well. All right, here we're at Cambria Hotel in Rockville, Maryland. On the left, we have T-Mobile showing a 5G connection. On the right, we have Verizon showing a 5G connection. T-Mobile 5G coming in at 315 down, 36.2 up. Verizon 5G coming in at 29.6 down, 9.54 up. All right, now let's see how LTE does for T-Mobile on the left and Verizon on the right. All right, so T-Mobile LTE coming in at 104 down, 20.7 up. Verizon LTE coming in at 55.1 down, 11.9 up. Now let's take a look at AT&T showing a 5G connection. AT&T coming in at 117 down, 19.6 up on their 5G. Now let's see how AT&T LTE compares to 5G in this spot.
AT&T LTE coming in at 146 down, 22.4 up. And as you can see, AT&T's LTE network outperformed their 5G network here. We are in Gaithersburg, Maryland, back where it all happened, where this one was swept off of her feet. Oh, God. <laughs> anyway, we're down in, uh, what is this, Crown? Downtown Crown. Downtown Crown in Gaithersburg. Gonna bring you some speed tests. I also took a bunch of uh, pictures on our trip, so keep an eye out for the next video coming not next but soon i'll do a camera comparison between the iphone 12 pro max and the samsung s21 ultra but in the meantime check out where we're at here we are at ted's bulletin in downtown crown in gaithersburg we have t-mobile on the left verizon on the right both showing a 5g signal T-Mobile 5G coming in at 6.76 down, 0 0.17 up. Verizon 5G coming in at 113 down, 26.8 up. Now let's see how T-Mobile and Verizon's LTE networks compare. T-Mobile LTE coming in at 2.37 down, 0 0.36 up. Verizon LTE coming in at 192 down, 32.3 up. And if you look at the comparison of 5G versus LTE, T-Mobile's laughable in both. Verizon is very consistent, but their LTE network does outperform their 5G network at this location. Now we have AT&T showing a 5G signal.
This particular area is a black hole for AT&T. I can tell you it was quite frustrating. Their 5G network, their LTE network, I could not get a connection whatsoever. None of my data was working at all. Uh, even tried to switch servers and still could not obtain a connection. So ultimately here, do not go with AT&T if you are in downtown Crown is the moral of the story. All right, guys, that does it for today's video. I'm really trying to grow my subscriber base, so please get the word out. Really need to get my subs up so I can start doing more videos and provide you guys with more content. As always, please like, subscribe, and share. Till next time, take care and peace out.